everybody and welcome to another reading vlog. It's the 3rd of May and today I am starting my first weekly reading vlog. Um, I'm starting it on a Tuesday, don't judge me, but um, it has been a bit of a rough start to the month. I've just not been doing any reading or anything like that, so I've just been chilling, recovering from last month. Um, I am just editing last month's vlog and trying to get it up, but I wanted to let you guys know what I am going to be starting to read tonight. This month I am participating in a quite a few readathons again. Um, in terms of monthly readathons, May is the month of May the Force Read With You uh, Star Wars themed readathon, which tonight by the time Tyler gets home and we eat and everything like that, it's going to be May the 4th, so we're going to be watching Star Wars tonight. Um, and then... I also have De desert -a -thon. I am on Team Lion, which is um, Sasha's team. Also, for May the 4th, we re read with you. I am going to be obviously going for the dark side, because according to Tyler, the good guys are wads. So <laughs> I am going for the dark side. Um, and then uh, May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. And so uh, Cindy over at With Sydney. Cindy is hosting once again Asian Readathon, which is one of my all-time favorite readathons. I participate in it every year, so I'm of course participating in it again this year. Um, I think that's it. And then <laughs> there's going to be a 48-hour bookopolathon happening in a couple weeks, and then technically from yesterday until the 15th is also the final book support group mini round. So there's a lot of stuff happening, but <laughs> regardless, I have a normal TBR. I'm going to link it up above. It should be up by the time this vlog comes out, but God knows I haven't had time to film it yet. So we shall see how that goes. But regardless, tonight I'm going to start off pretty tame and I'm going to start with a graphic novel. The graphic novel I've picked for this month is Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughn and Cliff Chang. Um, I'm very excited about this. I've heard really good things about this graphic novel. It is kind of like a sci-fi time travel dealy novel, I believe, following four 12-year-old girls. It says, early hours after Halloween in 1988, four 12-year-old newspaper delivery girls uncover the most important story of all time. Suburban drama and supernatural mysteries collide in the smash hit series about nostalgia, first jobs, and last days of childhood. I'm super excited. I love the Saga series by Brian K. Vaughan, and I love Lumberjanes, which is also another graphic novel series about young girls, so I'm hoping this is going to be the best of both worlds. This book, while it is written by uh, Brian K. Vaughan, it is illustrated by an Asian American uh, illustrator um, in Cliff Chang, and also um, this is going to be my pick for Bounty Hunters, which is one of the extra prompts for um, May the Force Read With You, because I'm reading it for reading a book that has people on the cover. Um, and then I don't think I'm reading it for, I don't think I'm reading it for Des Desertathon, but let me just double check. I restarted my Animal Crossing Island, by the way, while I'm waiting for this to load, um, which was drastic, but it needed to be done. Um, I have so many amiibo cards that I can still get all my favorite villagers, so that's fine. But that's been taking up a lot of my time the last couple days. Oh, my bad. So I'm reading this for Desertathon for read a book with people on the cover. And Bounty Hunter's prompt is to read a book at the top of your TBR, which this has definitely been at the top of my graphic novel TBR. So that's exciting. Um, it's also a point for um, read the final book, final book support group because it is reading the next issue in a graphic novel. I'm starting the first issue, which is technically the next one for me because I haven't started it yet. Um, so yeah, it's filling a lot of prompts. I can get one book done tonight and get myself off to a good start for this month, which is my goal. So that's my quick update for you guys to start off this vlog. I am so excited to participate on, in all these readathons and get a bunch of really great books read and I am so excited to take you along with me. It's all right, One hostile.
so I have a few updates for you. I'm just gonna give you guys a rundown while I'm doing my makeup. Um, I'm about to try and film a couple videos, which should be fun. Um, mainly I need to film my May TBR because, you know, it's May and I still haven't done that yet. Um, but in terms of updates on reading, I have finished my first book of the month, which is very exciting. Last night I ended up finishing Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughn, and I really enjoyed it. It was a really interesting story. I should have known from the fact that it was made, um, published by Image and made by Brian K. Vaughn that it was going to be sci-fi, but I, for some reason, didn't anticipate it to be sci-fi, like, while I was actually reading it. Um, I loved the 80s vibes. I love the fact that despite they made one character, like, pretty homophobic they have another character calling her out for it every single time it happens so that's like the bare minimum if you're gonna make a character homophobic which why bother in this day and age um to have somebody call it out which is important especially because it's set in the 80s and they're young girls like I'm really happy to see that um the story itself was super interesting I found myself asking like what the fuck a lot while I was reading it which I've heard in other reviews is pretty uh, common <laughs> while reading Paper Girls, but I really enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to end up, uh, continuing with the series. Um, I believe, I don't know how many volumes there are right now, but it's definitely one that I'm going to pick up the future volumes as I go. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I liked all the characters. I liked the setting. I liked the time travel element to it. I still, like, don't know exactly what's going on, but I'm liking the characters and I'm liking the, um, sci-fi element which is rare for me I think it's just a graphic novel thing for me because I really love saga which is also um sci-fi so maybe it's just image graphic novels written by Brian K. Vaughn or the specific type of sci-fi that I need uh, <laughs> either way I really enjoyed it and I had a really good time so Paper Girls counted as my May the 4th read with you pick for Bounty Hunters, which is to read a book at the top of your TBR. It's my first Desert of Thawne book, which is to read a book with people on the cover. And um, it was my graphic novel pick for the month. It also counts for Final uh, Book Support Group as reading the next issue in a graphic novel. It's technically the first issue, but it's the first issue I'm reading, so therefore it's my next issue. Sound twisting it. Regardless, that's my first book done, and I am very excited about it. Other news, I got book mail. So let's read this. I know exactly what it is, and I'm very excited about it, because it's my next read. <laughs> so the first book that I picked up is um, The Murder of Mr. Wickham by Claudia Gray. So this is a kind of Jane Austen meets Agatha Christie kind of murder mystery novel, and it basically is set in a world where all of Jane Austen's characters live in the same world and are like friends. And it's basically like the happily married Mr. Knightley and Emma are throwing a house party, bringing together distant relatives and new acquaintances, characters beloved by Jane Austen fans. Definitely not invited as Mr. Wickham, whose latest financial scheme has net netted him in an even broader array of enemies. That's like the premise. Basically, they come to this dinner party. Mr. Wickham dies. So <laughs> if any of you guys are a Jane Austen fan, you know that Mr. Wickham is um, the antagonist in Pride and Prejudice. And I'm so excited about this. I saw this on Twitter, like, on a whim, and I brought it up to, like, my friend group, and we decided to buddy read it this month, so I'm excited to read this. And then probably my most anticipated read of the year, I Got Book Lovers by Enemy, Emily Henry. This is Emily Henry's third adult, adult contemporary romance novel, and it follows our two characters, Nora and, uh, Charlie. Um, it's basically a romance enemies to lovers or rivals to lovers kind of romance between Nora who is an um a literary agent and Charlie who is a bookish brooding editor and it's like the opposite of a meet cute situation happening um and I'm so excited beach read and people we meet on vacation are two of my favorite reads of all time so I know I'm gonna vibe with Emily Henney's writing and this is probably going to be my next read which I'm very excited about I'm gonna be reading this for um May the Force Read With You, Galactic Empire, a book that intimidates you, um, just because there's so much pressure on this, because it's my most anticipated book of the year. And then Desert of Thawne, read a book that makes you feel warm, because Emily Henry's books just do that to me. So <laughs> they also just feel like summer for me. So I'm super excited about this. It's going to look so pretty next to its friends on the shelf once I'm done. But regardless, I just got these two in the mail right now. So 
very exciting. Um, I'm going to sit down. I'm currently working right now, but there's no essays to review, so I'm just sitting here waiting for one. In the meantime, I'm going to film my May TBR because I finally had the last two books for my May TBR here so that I can finally film it and try and get that uploaded for tomorrow. Tonight? No, probably not by tonight, but tomorrow. Um, that's going to be my plan for tonight. I may film a t finally film my May, tic May TBR TikTok as well. Um, but yeah, I've just got a iced Americano here to give me the caffeine boost that I don't need because caffeine doesn't work on me. <laughs> and we shall get going with the readathon. I'm one book down. Very exciting. I binge watched all four of the first episodes of The Circle last night, which was awesome. So I'm in a good mood <laughs> and let's just get this stuff done. Hello you guys, today is Friday, May 6th. Um, I've decided that I'm gonna be doing this vlog until Sunday. So I'll be doing Monday to Sunday vlogs, Monday uploads. Um, just cause I think that's gonna work out a little bit better for the way that this month is laid out. Um, I haven't done any more reading since yesterday, but I did buy two more books. So <laughs> I went to Walmart today because I wanted to get some weights because I'm starting to um, do a bit more at home workouts lately and I wanted to get some heavier weights, um, which I did. I got those. I got everything that was on my list, but I also picked up some books. I've never bought a book at Walmart, I don't think, in my entire life. I usually end up walking past the uh, book section because I know I'll get <laughs> distracted, but today I had some time, so I went in. The first book that I got is one that I'm very excited about and that is Girls of Fate and Fury by Natasha Nian. This is the third and final book in the Girls of Paper of Fire series, which is one of my favorite young adult fantasy series of all time. It is sapphic, it's got an incredible magic system. There's definitely some trigger warnings for the um, beginning of the first book dealing with sexual violence and sexual assault, so keep that in mind. Um, but it's one of my absolute favorite series. It's one of the most unique YA series I've ever read and I'm so excited to finally finish it off. It, this came out at the end of last year and I'm so happy to finally have it. It's gonna be great. I'm definitely gonna read it this month at some point. <laughs> Similarly, one of my most anticipated books of this year I ended up picking up and that is Four Aunties and a Wedding by Jesse Cusitano. This is the sequel to Dial A for Aunties, one of my favorite books that I read last year. These books are so much fun and the characters and the family dynamics are so interesting. And I'm obsessed with them, so <laughs> I'm super excited to have this, and I'm definitely going to be reading it very, very soon, because, again, it's one of my most anticipated books of this year. This and Homicide and Hello, Hello by Mia P. Menoncella. I need to get that soon. Um, th those two were two of my top most anticipated books, along with Book Lovers, so, like, it's been a good week for book buying, <laughs> but um, I am going to uh, get that done, hopefully. Um, tomorrow I am going to get my COVID shot, my fourth one, my second booster. Um, I'm very excited about it. I don't have any plans for tomorrow because I'm anticipating being quite tired. Um, so I'm going to probably spend all day in bed reading and watching Bones because that's been my latest hyperfixation. Um, but it's going to be a good time. I think I'm going to start The Murder of Mr. Wickham tonight, which I'm very excited about. Um, and hopefully try and get between into that and Book Lovers in the next couple days to finish off a couple more books by the end of the week and get started on the right foot when it comes to um, all my readathons and May's reading. I already finished Paper Girls, so that's exciting. I have that done and dusted. Um, but yeah, I'm about to start work for the night. I'm starting about five minutes or so. If it's not busy, I'm gonna try and film my um, May plan with me because that's late getting <laughs> uploaded, but Regardless, it's a good start to the day. It's kind of like really windy and kind of gloomy outside, which I'm okay with. Um, but yeah, that's my update. So I will talk to you guys later. Friday, May 13th, Friday the 13th. Um, I haven't updated you guys in a few days, but I do have some book mail that I wanted to share with you. Um, let's open it together. I know exactly what it is, and I'm very excited about it. And it is I Kissed Shara Wheeler by Casey McQuestion. I am super excited about this. This is Casey's first uh, young adult 
novel. I'm very excited. I don't normally read young adult, but I love Casey and Christian's writing, so I'm very excited about this. It is a sapphic young adult novel following our main character, Chloe Green. It says she is so close to winning. She spent the last uh, the four years since her mom's moved to get to her from California to Alabama for high school, dodging gossipy classmates and the puritanical administration. The goal that's keep her, kept her going, winning valedictorian, her only rival prom queen, Shara Wheeler, the principal's perfect progeny. But a month before graduation, Shara kisses Chloe and vanishes. Um, so it says at the end, like, uh, thrown into an unlikely alliance, chasing uh, a ghost through parties, break-ins, puzzles, and secrets revealed on mon monogrammed stationery, Chloe starts to suspect there might be more to this small town than she thought. And maybe, probably not, but maybe more to Shara too. Fierce, funny, and frank, Casey McQuestion's I Kissed Shara Wheeler is about breaking the rules, getting messy, and finding love in unexpected places. I'm super excited about this. I haven't read Red, Red, White, and Royal Blue, but I have read One Last Stop, and I really enjoyed that last summer. So I'm very excited to get another sapphic romance um, from this author, and I'm very excited. It's one of my most anticipated releases of the year, and it's going to be a good time. In terms of my own reading, I haven't really had a chance to start anything new um, or finish Confessions yet, but that's just because I've had a bit of a whirlwind of the last few days. Um, I'm very excited because tomorrow morning I'm going with my dad to a library book sale. I've never been to a library book sale, but I'm super pumped. Um, one of the branches of our public library is doing one. So hopefully I find some good finds. I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, tonight I have to work and I have to do my first assignment of this term, which I'm very excited about. Um, so I'm about to get started on that work right now. And yeah, it's just, it's been an interesting few days. Uh, it's been stupidly hot. It's been like between 28 and 30 degrees all week. Um, it's like 30 degrees outside right now, so I've got my air conditioning on in May, which is insane. Um, but I've had a pretty good time. I've caught up on the circle. I've been watching a stupid amount of Bones and just enjoying my time. So, uh, I'm excited to get started on school, excited to get, um, more reading done, hopefully later tonight. I'm going to try and get my assignment and readings and stuff like that for tonight done before work ends. That way, uh, once I'm done with work, I can sit in my chair and finish this book before I have to go get Tyler. That is my goal for tonight. Hello, everybody. This is the second time for me filming this clip because I filmed the entire thing and then realized it didn't actually hit record. So, you know, that's fun. Um, but I have a bit of a haul for you and um, a reading update. I'll start with the reading update. I ended up finishing reading Confessions last night by Kane Minato. This is a psychological thriller following our main character, Yuko, and a bunch of other different perspectives going through an incident at the middle school that she teaches at in which her daughter was murdered by some of the students. Um, it deals with revenge um, and uh, vengeance, um, and it is very disturbing. Um, you get five different points of view as you're reading through this book, but it was such a interesting read. Um, it f I flew through the rest of the book. I read the first 40 pages in the first go and then I finished it last night. From then on I basically read the entire book in one sitting. Um, it was very fast paced, very interesting. Each section you don't really get the introduction to the character you're talking about until partway through through context clues that you find out who's speaking. Um, and then you realize what perspective of the event is taking place um, and seeing the ways that these perspectives are different and ideas are challenged was very interesting. I ended up giving this a four to five stars. I really enjoyed it and I think it was quite disturbing. So definitely check out Trigger Warnings. Storygraph has all of them listed, um, but I really did enjoy this. And this counted for Asian Readathon as featuring a main character that was a woman and older, which was, it was the prompt was either to feature a female main character or an older main character. This was both. Um, this was a Japanese novel translated into English and I really, really enjoyed it. And again, four to five stars. It was a good time. Now for the book haul. Um, I first of I got some uh, book mail. The first book that I grabbed was Ace, What Asexuality Reveals About Desire Society and the Meaning of Sex by Angela Chen. This is a um, novel that says through reportage, cultural criticism, and memoir, Ace investigates the A of LGBTQIA, offering valuable frameworks for understanding human connection and inviting everyone to rethink pleasure and intimacy. I saw this recommended by Hannah over at A Clockwork Reader. Um, and I'm super interested to read this very soon. I definitely want to read this um, next month during Pride Month because I don't really know anything about asexuality or the ace spectrum. So I'm really excited to learn some more. And I think June, this will be the perfect nonfiction pick for the month because I like to read nonfiction every month. And I'm actually very, very excited to get to this. It's quite short. 
Um, but I think it's going to be super informative and I'm going to learn a lot, which is the point of nonfiction. So I'm very excited. And then next up, I picked up Homicide and Hello Hello by uh, Mia P. Manansala. This is the sequel to Arsenic and Adobo, which I read last summer and absolutely adored and devoured. I can't wait to get to this sequel. Uh, arsenic and adobo because I can't really tell you the plot of this one without spoiling it. Um, arsenic and adobo follows her main character Lila as she is coming home to her hometown after a failed relationship and ends up helping out with her auntie's uh, restaurant where she serves a uh, traditional Filipino uh, cuisine. And um, one day a food critic comes in who also happens to be her very uh, angry ex-boyfriend uh, and ends up actually dying because he's poisoned by the food and it starts off this like incredibly weird and interesting mystery that Lila decides to take it upon herself to solve. Super exciting. I'm really pumped for this sequel. This follows Lila after the events of Arsenic and Adobo so I can't really talk about um, exactly what happened but I am so excited to get to this. These books just scream cozy mystery um, and summer vibes to me, mostly because I read the last one in the summertime, but I am just absolutely stoked to get to this as soon as I can. Between this and reading Dali for Aunties and Arsenic and Adobo last year around the same time, back in July, has made me so excited to read Homicide and Halo Halo and Four Wedding Aunties at a Wedding, so it's gonna be a really great time. Okay, and next, um, I actually ended up just getting back from a used book sale and a used bookstore that I went to with my dad. Yeah, that's my little haul. I'm gonna go and put these away. Um, Tyler's at work this afternoon, so I have the house to myself, um, which is odd for a Saturday. My plan is actually to go and play some Animal Crossing and listen to my audiobook, which is Between the World and Me by Teneza Coates. I, it's only gonna take me about an hour and a half to listen to the audiobook at 2.5 speed, which is how I listen to audiobooks. So I should be able to get through it um, fairly quickly and get another book down for the readathon, or very exciting. Um, I forgot to mention, um, Confessions also counted as being read a book with a short title for um, Desertathon, I believe, and a thriller mystery for May the Force Read With You, so exciting. Once I finish my audiobook, I am planning on starting The Murder of Mr. Wickham by Claudia Gray. This is a book that I'm buddy reading with a bunch of people from theater, but better. Um, and a bunch of them have already started it, so I'm excited to get going with this very soon. It was nice, such a nice morning with my dad. I don't get to spend a ton of time with him um, anymore now that I've moved out. Um, so it's nice to have a bit of a good morning. He kind of had a bust of the book sale. He only got a couple books, but it was entertaining and fun nonetheless. I got an ice cap today because it's like the quintessential summer drink, and I'm happy. <laughs> we set up our air conditioner in the bedroom I got myself an ice cap summer is officially here and it's only halfway through May hello everybody it's a couple hours later and I just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know that I did finish reading and listening to Between the World and Me by Tenese Coates I really enjoyed this it's a very quick read it was very easy to follow and it was very thought-provoking um I really enjoyed listening to the point of view about racism from specifically a black man speaking to his young son and letting him know and trying to speak to him about what it means to be a black man in America and to find his place in the world. While simultaneously being a bit of a memoir and a bit of a history lesson, he spoke a lot about Malcolm X and the impact that Malcolm X had on him as a young adult at Howard University and seeing his lessons be brought to life in his own experience and that was really interesting and made me want to go look up more about Malcolm X. <laughs> Um, but overall, I really enjoyed it. I gave it a four to five stars, and that is my buzzword pick for the month. Done! Very exciting. Um, it's about 5.15. I have about an hour and a half before I have to go pick up Tyler from work. Um, I just finished printing off a bunch of book covers to update my book journal, because I'm way behind on that. Um, and I've been inputting all my new purchases into my Notion tracker for my hauled books. So, I've been doing a lot of admin <laughs> at my desk right now. I'm about to cut all these out, paste in the ones that I need, and then I'm going to sit down, clean up my office, and then go sit down and start Murder of Mr. Wickham before I have to pick up Tyler. Hello everybody. 
everybody. I just wanted to come on here and quickly end this vlog. Um, I actually ended up reading another book this afternoon, and that was Night Sky with Exit Wounds by Ocean Vuong. This is a poetry collection. It is uh, Ocean's debut poetry collection, and I'm obsessed with it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. It was stunning. Um, it was a very quick read. It's less than 100 pages long, but the writing is incredibly profound and thought-provoking. I think my favorite poem was definitely Eurydice. It was gorgeous. Um, this was a really great look into Ocean's life and his history, his ancestry, going all the way back and talking about the Vietnam War, which I know isn't that far away, but it deals with his grandfather or his grandparents. Um, he talks a lot about his parents and then it also delves into other ideas about love and death and um, longing. Uh, talks a bit, he mentions a bit about his sexuality in there, which I was ex uh, pleasantly surprised by. Um, and overall, I just really enjoyed the collection. Um, this counted for Asian Readathon as being a book um, written by an Asian author, the first standard prompt for Asian Readathon. Uh, this also counted for May the 4th Read With You as being part of the first order prompt, which is to read a book with a captivating first line. And poetry always has a captivating first line. It's kind of a thing with poetry. So in this case, the first poem is Threshold. And the first line is, in the body where everything has a price, I was a beggar. Um, and again, very captivating. The entire poetry collection is very captivating. It's definitely one I'm going to be rereading a lot in the future. Um, so let's just recap what I read this first two weeks of this month, because I ended up extending this vlog, as you guys know. Um, the first book that I read was Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughan, and I gave this a four to five stars. This counted for May the Fourth Read With You as being the Bounty Hunters prompt which is to read a book at the top of your TBR, and then for Desertathon, it counted as reading a book with people on the cover. Um, and then I ended up reading Confessions by Kane Minato, which uh, counted for Asian Readathon as being a book by a Japanese author. It was translated. Um, and it featured an older uh, female main character. I gave this a four out of five stars. It also counted for May the Fourth Read With You as um, being for Force Fear, which is to read a horror or a thriller novel. And then for Desert of Thawne, it counted, oh, it didn't count it for anything for Desert of Thawne. <laughs> and then I ended up listening to the audiobook of Between the World and Me by Tenese Coates. And this counted um, as my buzzword pick for the month, my audiobook for the month, and um, droids read an audiobook or an ebook um, for May the 4th Read With You. I'm having a really great start to my readathons. It's going uh, a lot better than I thought it was going to after the first week. Um, and I really hope you guys are enjoying watching these vlogs. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up because it really does support my channel and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you've read in the last couple weeks. If you're new here, please subscribe. I put out new bookish and writing videos every week and I hope you guys have a lovely day.